Yo, what's cracking, guys? My Ziggified fam. I know it's been like a month since I made a video, but we back. I have no excuse for the lacking. But today, I'm gonna show you how to make a futuristic drill. Um, virtual drill, dude. I have no idea. It's like the worst part about making videos, like figuring out what to name them, because like honestly, I have no idea. Um, and like obviously, you gotta put like a poppin' artist in the title and thumbnail to get views. Just kind of the way it works, unfortunately. So I'll figure out a name for this when I upload it. It's especially like hard, kind of paving a new wave here. So that makes it a lot harder. Anyway, I'm starting at 152 BPM. Then we use D sharp minor. And the first thing I did was lay out this ARP in Nexus. And if you don't know what an ARP is, it just basically takes the notes that you play and does something with them and plays them more than you did. I don't know how to explain it, bro. I'm gonna Google it real quick. I spelled it wrong, but don't mind that. See, just just read this. So I use this ARP in Nexus, and I made this pattern. And the way I made this pattern is I chose the root notes, obviously. Iconic pattern. But then I wanted to make chords, but I didn't want to make the full chord. So as you can see, I made chords. I'm gonna zoom in here. I made chords. But I skipped the, the three, because chords are one, three, five. I skipped the three, and I just did the one and five for everything. Don't really know the technical name, bro. Pretty fire, but at the same time, it's really not much. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna take the pattern, pitch it up, and put it in another ARP in Nexus because um I like the sound of that other one, but it has too much low end, and if I took the low end out, then it sounded terrible. So I'm just gonna use that as an intro. This is the one that really brings like the flash game 2009 vibes okay now to add some sauce i added a lead in nexus of course i was gonna use purity at first but dude can't be i can't be cheating on nexus out here okay so what i did i clicked this mod tab and then clicked the legato change it to 16. this will give it a glide and then the secret to how i made the pattern obviously you just follow the the scale i like to do like a descending pattern and like these things right here you see where the notes are right next to each other that makes it gives it more tension i think basically make a descending pattern then it goes up keeps going up and down bro just mess around and find something that works And the only thing I put on this lead is a stereo shaper to make it wider. I like to make like an ambient buildup before the lead actually hits. So I copied into this trap sign preset. I used this in my last video. It's literally same exact lead pattern. I just copied into this ambient preset. So yeah, it's pretty nice and chill. I suppose I can give you a sample of the melody now. None of the melody elements are playing all together, so like that'd be stupid to combine them, but I'm just gonna play part of it right now. Probably thinking, how the heck is this gonna be drill? Well, we're gonna get there. Okay, to establish that drill bounce, obviously start with the hi-hat if you watched my last video you know exactly how this drill hi-hat pattern is made this is the repeating pattern these three hi-hats bro i literally don't change it up at all i just let that repeat i'm gonna choose a clap you know a beat is either like a clap or a snare vibe and this one was a clap vibe for sure even though a lot of drill beats are snare vibes this is a clap vibe we established that drill clap bounce the way that goes it is normally first and then offset second and i also added this bounce clap right here i play with the metronome Okay, now we got the simple bounce out of the way. I just added this perk. Now we established the bounce. We could add the 808. Obviously make the 808 follow the root notes of the melody you made. Or else it might not sound good. 
definitely won't sound good so there's like a basic pattern to follow when you make the 808 pattern i'll make it up here just so it doesn't interfere with what i made so this pattern so on the first on the downbeat it hits on the downbeat obviously and then the second bar it hits halfway through and that pattern just repeats obviously you could sauce it up like obviously i did but you see that there's still that basic pattern where like it's predominantly hitting here and then in the middle here and then here here but like obviously i sauce it up a lot so i'll play my pattern pretty fire and the last element of drill in this beat is the kick this is like basically a secret sauce it'd be hidden so hard bro and the kick kind of loosely follows the 808 and you're probably wondering how it hits so hard well first of all it's important on the master you should have no limiter or if you have a limiter you should have it configured to be clipping instead or you just use a soft clipper like i did because if you use a limiter i'll make it sound like garbage that's if you don't use the limiter properly but i don't feel like explaining that right now um second thing to do first of all make it max loudness you see this is boosted completely and then if you want to make if you want to make it hit even harder normally it's on c5 took it down to a4 I got it hitting crazy. Now I could play the drum pattern for you. Pretty extravagant, exquisite. I forgot to mention on the downbeat, I have this chant hitting. It's not what the original sound sound like. I processed it and then rendered it out. The original sound sounds like this. Obviously, I changed the pitch because you can change the pitch of the sound to match the beat because obviously it's not going to be in key every single time. But I add delay, reverb, and some camel space, extreme comb. This plugin is so fire, so slept on. And I rendered it out because the tail was going to be really long, so I rendered it out. I forgot to mention, but if you want most of the sounds I use in this beat, you could go on Google, type in Real Pop Smoke Dior Drum Kit, click on the first link, you can download it, I think the link is still up, hopefully. Okay, now I'm gonna get into arrangement, which also involves a few more drum patterns, I think, with the idea I wanna do, because I wanna make it more like a electronic type thing. So as the intro, I'm gonna make it what I mentioned as the intro before, which is this. Because as the low end and it won't work anywhere else so after that it's gonna drop into the second pattern which is the same pattern with a different instrument and I'm gonna make this kick pattern you see it just consistently hits and to go along with that I made this bass pattern You see, it's a really simple bounce where just the first downbeat, consistent note, and then I make it kind of like fragment and glide, you know. And then to make the kick work well with the bass, I just side chained it slightly. You see, the release is pretty low, but it's still noticeable. So I'll play the intro. I mean, well, I guess it would be the hook. You see it's building up to something now and then i'm just gonna keep the same melody pattern but then instead i'm gonna drop into the drill drums which is fire and after that we kind of fall off again but at the same time we're building because i'm bringing the ambient lead and then we drop into the drill drums with the real lead and the rest the entire beat is just repeating the same formula pretty much completely i almost forgot in the intro in the intro i added shaper box just to mess with the melody a bit it's just kind of ducking you know anyway i think that's it i'll play part of the beat at the end of the video i think i'll put the rest of the beat on the soundcloud i don't know why i said the soundcloud i'll put it on my soundcloud bro if you want to hear it i guess i was debating doing that last time but i forgot clearly because it's not there um i almost forgot 
I'll, I'll spill a little bit of mixing sauce real quick, even though I'm not like an engineer, you know. But on the master, I got a G clip. It's basically a soft clipper, but you can control the gain in here. And I just turned it up like that. Basically all clipping. You don't want to do any limiting with a drill beat, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, Twitter. What else, bro? Join the Discord. Nobody's in my Discord, bro. Makes me want to cry. Whatever. <laughs>